order, entomologists may have caught evolution in the act. They found a previously undocumented population of vampire moths. In South and Central Europe, another moth species, Calyptra thelictri, feeds only on fruit. But during experiments, when the Russian moths were offered human hands, they drilled their hook and barb lined tongues under the skin and sucked blood. What is your feeling? It's starting to hurt. <laughs> the blood sucking can go on for several minutes. The scientists say some moths sucked for more than 20 minutes. Only male moths feed on blood, and experts suggest they may do it to pass on salt to females during copulation. Doctoral candidate Jennifer Zaspel, a National Geographic grantee from the University of Florida in Gainesville, suggests this behavior may have developed for reproductive reasons. The sexual gift, she said, might provide a nutritional boost to young larvae that feed on leaf-rich but sodium-poor diets. She also notes that some researchers hypothesize blood feeding evolved from animal-related behaviors such as feeding on tears, dung, and pus-filled wounds. Entomologist Chris Nice suggests this behavior may eventually set the stage for blood to be incorporated into this species' diet. However, according to experts, a number of other factors would need to be present in order for this to occur. Zaspel hopes to continue research on the vampire moths and compare the Russian population's DNA to that of other populations and other species. She hopes to differentiate the blood-feeding population from previously documented groups.